okay. You can see we've made a lot of films. <laughs> Regis said to me, she said, you're in the same jumper and shirt. She said, you know, normally you're just dive in and do one. And anyway, okay. So what we're going to talk about today. Um, another thing that was wouldn't be, wouldn't be used now, I don't think. Um, but in the day, it was needed. So this one is Metropolitan Mounted Police. Um, and it's a twitch. I've got one here. There it is. Um, so that's it. Very, very uh, well. I see. It's funny thing about this. You, you say it's, it's. You know, I was going to just say then it's crudely made, but in actual fact, it's not um, very crude at all. If you look at it, because why would they bother turning all the tops like this? You know, you know all this fancy bit. I don't need that. It has nothing to do with it. Um, and, and doing what they've done with it, I don't know that you'd need it. This was actually broke. Um, when I got it, and I don't know what the wood is, but it's well, it's quite hard. But um, so I this was only my um, attempt at gluing it. I got some good wood glue and put in, and I put it in a clamp, and it's held really well. And it's just to preserve it. Now this did have a little strap on it, and I've looked everywhere for the little strap because on the strap it said Metropolitan Police. But there's no date on it that I can find. But so what do we do? We take the horse's top lip, we put it between here, and we squeeze it. Now, there's lots of different thoughts on it. Personally, myself, I think no one's no one's going to tell me that it don't hurt. There is a certain school of thought that it releases endorphins, and the horse will stand quiet. The horse stands quiet because it's being held a very very tender part of its body in my opinion if you look at all she's top lip he uses it like a hand why do I say that well if you take a marble kids marble or ball bearing put it in his food he won't eat it he'll fill that with his hand just like we can feel whether that's wood or this is something else or something's cold or something's warm and we can decipher what it is if we were blindfold we've got a good idea of what it is well all the same so but on the other end, there wasn't the tranquilizers that can be used now. I mean, I know farriers that carry them now to keep all calm while they shoe it, etc. Is that wrong? Is that right? I don't know. Uh, I think there's always arguments both ways. I've always tried to be very open in my approach, you know, to modern things. I don't think everything that's, that's, that's new is bad, like some older people do. Well, it's not. Just common sense tells you it's got to be. That's how the world moves forward. But that's what this was used for, and it would hold horse. Now, have I used one? Of course I have. My age would tell you that. Does it keep all still? Certainly does. Now, if you want to examine his eye, for instance, or his ear, or anything like that, then is it the lesser of two evils? You could argue all day whether it's wrong or right. In this day and age, it's not needed, is it? It's obsolete. Because you can buy stuff on me we don't never used it never had to but um i know there are stuff that you can buy they've all got different names that you just squeeze a bit on their tongue apparently and you know it'll quiet the horse down it's some sort of sedative you know i mean obviously that can be used but that wasn't available so if you had something with a little thorn in the corner of its eye or something like that delicate thing and you want to get to it then that would be a way of keeping the horse still while you helped the horse so as long as you was helping the horse, relieving it from pain or any discomfort, then I could understand it. The nice thing, nice thing, there's not much nice about this at all, but this type um, you put on, you squeeze as much as is required if the horse is standing still with just a light touch. I mean, I'm squeezing that now on my fingers, and that I can feel it, yeah? I definitely can feel it. Um, and it will leave a mark there, as you can see. You can see on my fingers there. Yeah? But it's not unbearable at all. You just see me do it. So, is it right or is it wrong? In this day and age, it's not needed. It's as simple as that. Years ago, it might well have been needed when a horse needed to be held fast to help it. Um, and I've seen it used a lot when I used to be around heavy horses. Um, at the brewery, I've seen it used when horses got to now, right in its frog, 
going to be in agony. It's going to turn to an abscess if we don't do something. So what those lads did there, one lad put a twitch on, was very gentle with the horse. Come on, lad, stand still. That's it, good boy. Another one had the strap around the foot, holding it up over the horse's back and securing it there so that the uh, farrier could get there and do the best he could for the horse. And he did do the best. And he didn't see a vet, but that horse was back to work within five, no, sorry, to the life, seven days, I think it was. He was back to work and they put a rubber pad on him, you know, and cotton wool and something to draw the poison out. And he was back to work and perfectly happy. So to hold him still, to allow him to use his round knife to get in there and do the job, lovely. Why would it be wrong? I've seen another one used uh, that uh, for a mastroid down in the horse's ear. Um, and... One of the horsemen there, a good old horseman, he said, we just do that to him, we put him down. Um, and we done, he'd done that and he, he burst it, got rid of it, cleaned it all out, got all the mess and muck out, and there was a lot of it. And the horse was so much better, his headache had gone, you could see the horse was in pain all the time with it. Well, in that them type of cases back then, I'm not saying that this wasn't used by people when there was no necessity, it, it was, I saw that with my own eyes as well when it wasn't needed, all you had to do was take a little bit of time with the horse and say come on here good boy, take this steady let him get to know you, let him get to trust you take your time around him in another 10 minutes 20 minutes longer and you could do it with, with nothing on at all it happened here the other day had a pony here the other day, didn't like the sound of the clippers so what did I do I let the clippers run, I hung them up next to him in the stable I put his food by the side of it and by that afternoon you know it was about 10 in the morning 11 in the morning, about that in the afternoon he didn't take any notice of the clippers and he was if you can believe it believe it not was playing with them you know moving them with his head and biting them and moving them and like that we had to take them out just in case he bit the cable <laughs> you know? so and then we you know just clipped a bridle behind him absolutely fine he never bothered so you know, a lot of the time you can get over it. Now, if you've got an emergency thing where you've got to do it and you've got to, you know, keep your all still while you help the horse, well, there's nothing wrong with that, or there wasn't back in the day, and now it's not needed. But there are Metropolitan Police Twitch. You get the other type where you've just got one stick, if you like, or handle, with a loop on the end. Sometimes it's chain, and sometimes it's just a piece of rope which you put, the, you know, you put it over the, the top lip and you twist it and twist it and twist it until you squeeze it tight behind and that's, that's used. I've seen the ear twitches used, absolutely horrible, vile things. And I've seen horses come from Europe into my own yard here that there's no way of proving it, but I know damn fine they've been damaged with a twitch on their ear, actually broke the cartilage in their ear and deformed it. So there you go, a twitch. Don't know how old, but um, I've had it for 40 years, maybe a little longer than that. So we know it's that old anyway. Okay. <laughs>